What's up Capricorn? Trust your intuition for guiding your beautiful self to this reading. So this is going to be a 2023 reading for a beautiful miracle that's going to happen to you this year. Something very major that's a blessing, a miracle, a gift, because I do think 2023 is a year of miracles. So let's dive into this. Starting with the Wheel of Fortune here. We are going to spin this and see what energy is coming out for you. We are manifesting clarity for Capricorn. What is the miracle that's happening for Capricorn in 2023? What's going on? We have the Hierophant coming out. So the gift of higher learning, the gift of education. That's one thing I'm getting. Also, the Hierophant is a mediator, an advisor. Some of you could be going into law or wanting to become a lawyer or something in the justice field or something within the justice system. I see that happening for you. Also, if you're dealing with a legal case, I do feel like the Hierophant represents something like if you're like, oh my God, I, I don't know how I'm going to get out of this sticky situation. I feel like the miracle is that things are working out in your favor. So just know that. Um, but the Hierophant does indicate that you are going to learn something. There, there's a gift of higher learning in here, more so than other years, because I know that's very vague to just be like, yeah, you're going to learn something in 2023. <laughs> this is like knowledge that is going to forever shift you. So let's see what that is, Capricorn. Tell me more about this miracle, this gift of knowledge in 2023 for Capricorn. What is this energy for Capricorn? Flip the deck over. 35, three plus five breaks down to an eight. We also have that five energy with the Hierophant. So Archangel Uriel has blessed you with a brilliant epiphany. I am also present to be clear. I am also present to clear away your worries so you can trust your divine guidance. Yeah, I'm definitely getting if you are in a legal situation or a sticky situation, do know that whatever it is that you're worried about, you have no worries because the universe is going to be there for you. The universe is going to give you the gift of the highest possible outcome, the, the outcome that's truly working in your favor. I also feel like there's this higher learning too with the sword almost like a new idea coming through again this knowledge that's going to shift you in some way and maybe the knowledge also is somehow based in either um this legal situation like finding out that like you're scot-free <laughs> like you don't have to worry about anything or it could be just you know divine guidance from your spirit guides so we have the Three of Wands, Aries energy, Page of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Scorpio energy. So the Three of Wands is trying to establish something. You know, she's looking out at what ways she can conquer with her surfboard. So there's this energy of starting. And then the Page of Swords, this is a messenger through and through because pages always deliver news. And Swords is all about the mental plane, communication. So again, we have this enlightening energy coming through Capricorn. The miracle is life-changing information that's going to get you started in some way. Three of Pentacles in reverse. And this is definitely something you're doing on your own because the Three of Pentacles is all about working with other people. Um, but I am hearing, honestly, I wanted to put this in reverse, but I am hearing flip it up, right? So maybe it's like something you thought you were going to have to do on your own, but it's something that you are going to get to collaborate with on someone. And it makes sense with a Hierophant coming out because it's like, there's three people on this card. So there's this energy of working with other people and getting a big three energy with the 35, three of wands, three of pentacles. So I feel like other people are helping you achieve this miracle in one way or the other. Give me more for Capricorn. They want me to shuffle. So this is definitely the gift of knowledge, divine guidance, divine knowledge. More for Capricorn. What is it that you want Capricorn to know? What is this divine, take the first one I keep hearing, lion temperament. So this is all about how um, truly your temper, your mood, where you are, your temperature, if you will, is guiding you to the next moment. And 
how we mind the gap is everything. That's all life is, Capricorn, is minding the gap between birth and death. So it's always important to mind the gap with a high vibration because that leads to the biggest miracles and blessings. So I feel like keeping that in mind, you are going to, there's like this crazy information coming through and I feel like it's only going to reach you if you are in this harmonious feeling state. So that's something important to keep in mind is not to, you know, get too over anxious or worried about anything. Just know that everything is coming to you, even information and thoughts in divine timing. Put those back I'm hearing and shuffle again. Okay. Give me another card for Capricorn before we go into the charms and the astrodice. The miracle. What's the miracle coming into Capricorn? Definitely getting divine guidance, but I want to see if I can get like a little bit more on that. Like what that information is. Take the first one I'm hearing. Pregnancy, wealth, peacock. I keep hearing the first two. I got to take the second one. Dolphins, playfulness, cooperation. I'm telling you, there is definitely a theme of working with other people. I mean, that is a, a procreation, right? That's, you know, I did a reading for you guys, Capricorn, yesterday, and it also said something about pregnancy. So the miracle for you could be the gift of life, right? Maybe all this three energy is you, your partner, and another person. That's come out a lot, cooperation. So some of you are definitely um, getting blessed th with the divine knowledge of having a baby. That is the energy. It's like you're discovering that you're having a baby. And for some of you, um, it's just like really, really crazy life shifting information that's coming through in one way or the other. Obviously, like a baby and knowing that you're going to have a baby is very, very life changing. So give me something for Capricorn through the charms. Miracle in 2023. So we have, oh my gosh, I love it. Death and rebirth. I almost feel like it's the death of the old you, especially if this is your first child. You know, you're not going to be the bachelor or bachelorette that you have been. You're going to be, you know, a parent. It's going to be a completely different life. So I'm getting something with like death and rebirth. There's definitely a birth energy that could be what's coming through. But bedazzled energy on this makes me think of Davy Jones or Long John Silver. So I definitely feel like there's an energy of celebration. Like you're going to you're going to um, have some wealth, which makes sense with the peacock energy coming out as a result of this newfound information. Give me more for Capricorn through the Astrodice miracle. So we have Neptune and Aries in the sixth house. So Neptune is very dreamy. Aries starts the zodiac. It's all about the self. And then the sixth house is all about healing and help and being of service. So I feel like there is this energy with Neptune and Aries where it's almost like you're dreaming about making a move or really expressing yourself in some type of way. And I feel like the way that you're doing that is by being of service. For some of you, you're literally being a portal for someone else to come through. Um, but other, for others, there's like this just very spiritual, you get that with Neptune energy, very spiritual information that's going to um, propel you forward in some type of way, leading you on a new journey. So that's a really, really powerful miracle to come through. I hope this resonated, Capricorn. If you're interested in a personal reading, head on over to themoonempress.com. Otherwise, yes, this is my final reading for this 2023 New Year's playlist, and I will catch you in more Moon Phase readings.